What's up everybody? I'm Dan from the Rohan Academy. On this show, we're gonna talk everything digital economy. We're gonna talk about COVID-19, but more specifically, how China has been reigniting their economy after it. Now, countries all over the world are giving their citizens subsidies, but China is doing something a little different. What exactly has the Chinese done to get so many people out and about? It's because they use these things called digital coupons. So we want to investigate how powerful these coupons can be. China has issued 5.6 billion yuan in digital coupons. But why digital coupons, you might ask? Well. Let's ask my friend Jax. Jax, we want to ask one question. Why do other countries are issuing money and the Chinese are issuing cash? Because we are issuing money, we are still alive. If we issue money, we will need to use it. So basically, what he's saying, Chinese like to save money, but if they send digital coupons, they have to spend it. Back in 2009, after the 2008 financial crisis, the Hangzhou government also issued coupons, but with one big difference: they were paper. Also, younger generations didn't want to wait in line for the coupons, and they were really only favored by the elderly. Or the middle age. Internet penetration in China and mobile penetration is a lot stronger than other countries, and it's for that reason that Hangzhou government decided to issue their coupons digitally on Alipay. Everyone in China, from little kids to senior citizens, all use their phone to do a lot of things, whether it be paying、uh, the bill at a restaurant or. I don't know. Giving to charity. They all use their phone. So, how does China actually issue these coupons in the digital era? Well, they do it through online e-commerce, digital, and e-wallets like Alipay. And the reason why they do that is because it's efficient, fast, and secure. And doesn't waste paper, right? Yeah, of course. And anyone in Hangzhou, even if you're a foreigner, Chinese, young, poor, rich, whatever, anyone can claim these digital coupons. And in two minutes, half a million coupons are gone. Now we're looking at 大家是怎么用小飞船。哎，你们好，你们好，我可以查。你们一下，你们有没有抢过杭州消费券？抢过一次。你怎么抢到呢？哦，我没抢到。哦，我没抢到。你们呃是杭州人吗？我是杭州人。你们有没有抢到这个杭州消费券？我抢到消费券，我五张已经花光了。然、啊、后你花光了，那那我想问一下，你买了什么？买了奶茶、娱乐场所、超市。你是怎么抢到？你是通过什么 A P P 抢掉？支付宝，我就是整点手的。他们是非常酷的年轻人。杭州消费券，你有没有听说过？有啊，呃，听说过领过，去你女朋友买什么的什么礼物吗？买过了已经。<笑><笑>你觉得杭州消费券好不好啊？我觉得这个非常好，说明那个政府比较关心我们。我加一些，比如说加一个老仙女啊，说哎阿姨你好，你有没有抢过杭州消费券？抢到过三次，买菜买肉啊，已经抢过三次。然后我准时等在那里，抢了好几次。And I wanted to know if it's having an impact, so I came to Hangzhou's business district, very close to the West Lake, to come and interview some small businesses. 你好，老板，老板，嗯，我想，我想问你几个问题，关于你们的生意。呃，我们店是杭州普瑞冰淇淋店，也是一家网红店。刚好，因为我我我就是一个网红。所以我想问一下，就是疫情以后，你的生意差不多恢复了吗？肯定比疫情期间要好多了。呃，用消费券的人多吗？呃，支付宝消费券的话，有抢到的客人来，我也都会提起，你们店能不能用消费券 ？Rather than save their money, people in China are spending their money thanks to these coupons because they're encouraging them to spend, spend, spend. 
In China's current stage, they have shifted from providing medical assistance to full economic recovery. For that reason, they are really concentrating on SMEs, small to medium-sized enterprises, because they represent China's largest sector in terms of market. It is also why they've invented digital consumer coupons, as they hope these coupons will provide SMEs the most assistance and support. In Hangzhou's case, the each coupon at first was worth 10 yuan, but later on, it changed. On the, in the second round of issuing coupons, it changed to 20, 35, and 45 yuan each. Now, that's a powerful tool in the hands of policymakers if they choose to use a digital platform. At present, Alipay has launched digital coupons with support of the government in over 50 cities. It's a perfect example of online to offline consumption. It's a perfect example of what economists call the multiplier effect. In the city of Zhenzhou, 75 million coupons issued through Alipay resulted in 550 million renminbi in spending. So I did my part to reignite Hangzhou's economy. Oh, well, I spent 50 yuan on a, two cups of coffee and got 10 kwai back. That's the multiplier effect. For years now, digital technology has been rapidly changing China's business landscape and environment. It has brought more inclusiveness, not less. Another interesting point is that it's time sensitive, meaning you either use those coupons or you lose them. I'm running out of time. I better go use mine. I'm Dan, and see you on the next episode.